Okay, so as uh, coming back here, now this episode, okay, this episode was just heartwarming. It was great. Uh, and it is uh, T O B 1. Oh, my. To Toby. Like, you, what, you didn't like this one? No, no, no. I love this one. So, okay, I was uh, about to say, I was like, what? T O B 1. TLB1. I was like, what the heck? The more they said it, I was like, OB1. I was just like, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. So, this one is, he is, is, is he's not, is he a droid? Is he a full on droid or is I he, I don't know. Like a I, cyborg, maybe? He, I think he is some type of, yeah. I think there's some, I actually think this was his pad. I think that master lost his Padawan. Well, you don't know he's a master at first. Now, this was this was only like yeah. this was only like eleven minutes. I mean, I think right. the episode is listed. The episode is listed as uh, well. The episode is listed as fourteen minutes, but then there's like an intro and and the credits and everything. Um, the animation style here it does feel more sort of like this would work for like somebody who's like seven, which is mm -hmm. still fine. It was still gorgeous. Um, and yeah, it's this. It's this, he's this little droid, uh, and he's sort of he's sort of running around, and he's on this planet with his sort of creator, and yeah. they're trying to bring life back to the planet, bring right? Plants which is, and life back. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so T T O B one is a humanoid droid full of curiosity who dreams of being a Jedi Knight. Uh, he's an assistant to Professor uh, Mataka. Mataka. Professor yeah. Mataka. In his quest to bring life back to a barren land. Yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, he starts having these dreams though, and he goes to him and says, "Like I'm dreaming of becoming a Jedi. I'm dreaming of finding a Kyber crystal and finding a lightsaber and fighting." Right? And his master. Mm -hmm. Well, we find out later he's his master. Uh, the professor sends him on his way. And tells him to chase down that dream, which I think was kind of like one of those things like chase your dreams, right? Go for it. Yes, one hundred percent. And he does, and he gets to this old ship that that must be the professor's ship, the only thing that he could find. And he hops in the ship and he presses some buttons and accidentally sends out a transmission, which is intercepted by a Jedi hunter who shows up to the planet, and the professor has to hide him away. And he basically yeah. has his like and last he's like, words. Don't come out no matter what. No matter what you hear. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I just you're like, like it's so crazy. And then he does come out and he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fulfill what the professor wanted. I'm gonna bring life back to this barren land. And he does it, man. He starts to bring life back. He runs the experiments, he does his thing. And all in the in the meanwhile, he actually does start to use the force and it's just awesome I, I forget again how the how the jedi hunter finds him or, or realizes that there's another jedi here and and whatever it was kind of a pinocchio like thing but you felt like this was a real boy at one point and he still is he's he still is i mean droids you know are are i, I that's one of the things i love the droids tv show and in the comics because droids matter in star wars and it's such a really Cool thing they did that with Lando's droid being a part of the Millennium Falcon and all of that. It it's, I don't know. I mean, R two D two and C three PO. Without them, it's just not Star Wars at all. And it, it's what makes Star Wars great. So having T O B one is awesome. No, it was great. It's it's heartwarming. Now you know the the interesting thing about this is, and I'm trying to do some research here because to me, again, this is sort of a Japanese. You know, this is this is the anime here. Um, to me the inspiration for this is so blatantly obvious of where this comes from as can you do a google search for me type mm -hmm. in dr light mega man because this is like the, the way that toby you know tob1 looks and the way that his jedi master looks i mean oh my his gosh. jedi master is straight up dr light for mega man who's sort of like the guy who makes yeah. mega man yeah and then mega man himself looks so very sort of resemblance and it's the same type of that's a, awesome same, yes same type of a thing and so i was i was trying to see i was like did this guy ever work on did he ever work do any work for capcom or do anything because the inspiration at least for some of this is it's it's so blatantly obvious it just has to be uh, where yeah. where he where he pulled some of that inspiration from 
Yeah, for, yeah, for sure. I mean, it look, once I looked that up, instantly the professor looks the same. I mean, it's identical. Yeah, I identical. mean, he is. I mean, he is identical. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really cool too. Like, th I thought that, that this was was beautiful as well. There's a shot here at three minutes forty one seconds. You can look out this back window, and the stars are not just all white and blue. Like the attention to detail is insane. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a, a red, red star, star yeah. and there's it, it's just nuts. You got you got Tie Fighters on the wall. You've got X wings. There's a story being told here. And this is probably a Jedi master from back in the day who lost his Padawan is on this world. And he felt, uh, you know, he's attached to his Padawan. That is his student. He was, it was like his son that he was helping grow. And it's just awesome. This, this needs to be turned into like a 50 minute to an hour and 10 minute sort of special star Wars, little special side story. Yeah. That's aimed at, aimed at a younger audience. I mean, of what, you know, use the force, be good. You know, I mean, 100%, this one needs green lit for more. Yeah, it, 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 was, so, it was so good. There's twin there's twin moons, twin suns. Uh, just It also had kind of this um, Superman thing where it was like, don't go into the basement and find the ship and the, you know, all that kind of stuff, stuff like your origin story type, type of thing. Mm -hmm. Like he was trying to hide something from him too. But yeah, just <laughs> uh, un unreal. It was, it was heartwarming. And when he's sitting, when he's tucked away and he's hearing what's going on outside and he's got that lightsaber uh, shell and he's just mm -hmm. looking for the kyber crystal that he was handed that by his master. It's unreal, man. One of my yeah. favorites. This was good. Yeah, this one, this one was good.